Welcome to Area DMG. Welcome back to Area DMG. I am your host, Will Wesley, the Mile High Mouth, and today, well, we're going to take a look at what was announced this week. I know it's a Friday. Maybe these new segments will become something we do every Friday. I don't know. Maybe some type of weird schedule like that. It is Friday, right? Oh, yeah. We put out, you didn't put out anything on Wednesday because. Eh, I was just like, ugh, tired. Ugh, tired. Sorry about the yawn. But no, seriously, I was tired. And, um, <laughs> I wanted to wait to see what happened in the Nintendo Direct. There was a Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase. There's also the, um, Sony thing. Let's see, what was that technically? They had something they were announcing. Uh, something. Ah, what was it? It was like... I know they got that new system coming out, the PlayStation Series 5? PlayStation Now Plus? I don't remember. It's the PlayStation Go something or other. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's see. I have it here. Uh, let me take my, take a look at my news. Come on. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> oh, here it is. <sighs> okay. Oh, I forgot about that. So, Nintendo 3DS has stopped production. Which is unfortunate. I'm sad about that. Okay, there was a Sony event where the big thing they announced was that um, you can attempt to pre-order stuff for the PlayStation 5 or whatnot. There's two versions. Um, the PlayStation 5, um, just the PlayStation 5, and then the PlayStation 5 Digital Edition. And let's see here. Hmm. These will be released on, what is it, like, when are they coming out? Oh, November 12th um, in Australia, Japan, North America, and South Korea. Uh, remember, the Xbox Series X is coming out November 10th, but and the most important piece of hardware this November, the Game & Watch Super Mario Brothers is coming out like two days after the PlayStation 5. And obviously, the Super Mario one is the one that you should pick up. Because it's only like, what, 70 bucks? And two, it's, um, it's got better game. It literally has like two games. But you know. Anyways. <laughs> the PlayStation 5... Oh, yeah, they announced the price. So the PlayStation Digital is $399. The Xbox Series S is $299. And the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Xbox Series X are both $499 US dollars. Yep, that's, there you go. That's, that's that. That's done. Was that so painful, guys? No, no, it wasn't. But there you go. Um, if you want both systems, it's... You're going to pay over $1,000 into this. If you want one system, you're going to pay 500 bucks for the Xbox Series X, and you're going to get games that play better on it. If you're, play, if you're going for the um, PlayStation 5, you're going to get a couple games that are exclusive to PlayStation 5 and PC, obviously. And um, that will set you back $500, of course. But if you're me... Um, actually, I kind of want to go with the X because of that neat little financing thing they have where they're like, hey, you already pay us for this, so why don't I pay us like five bucks more a month or so and you can help pay this thing off. It's some weird stuff. And I'm like, hmm, that's kind of tempting. But honestly, I'm interested more in seeing what Nintendo's going to do with their next stuff. Um, we've all heard about a newer version of the Switch coming out, which can do like 4K or something. Um, it doesn't really need to. What I'd really like them to do is have one that can like use a smaller... <sighs> all right. <clears throat> what I'd like to see is one that can... That can... um ha ha Comes with like 
I don't know. I want to see them do something with it, like maybe they could call it like the Nintendo Switch Plus. And the Plus is a whole new experience, meaning maybe it would come with like a brand new type of headset thing that you pop the pop the switch into and then the screen on the switch would be much more capable of displaying like double the resolution of it normally so 720p but the reason for that is that it would be 720p in virtual in virtual reality mode so in like a 3d mode essentially right and um that would be kind of neat and it would come with like newer versions of the joy cons these would joy con plus now the Joy-Con, the plus part of it would be that um, the way they're set up, they they are um, they're straight, but then you can kind of bend them over a little bit, kind of like how so that you, that's more for like the uh, virtual reality mode. They would have IR sensors on the bottom of both left and right, and there would be a um, there'd be an optional camera thing that you can pop up. Um, the big thing with like the new the um, Nintendo Switch Plus would be that if you're using it with like the virtual reality part of that, there's a little thing that you can set up, or um, and it interacts and knows where you are based off of the Joy Cons. Like the Joy Cons themselves, like at the um, bottom part would be like the IR sensor, right? These would not work with like your other normal Joy Cons, but the these Pro Joy Cons. Aside from that bend over, when you bend that bend the top part over there, there's like a little light part at the very top above the um, left and right buttons, like outside the L, R, Z, R, Z, etc. button. There's a small light in there, and there'd be something that you place on the TV, on the top of the TV or whatnot, and those little lights, would, it would look for those lights, or rather it would shine off those lights. The um, device that you pop the Switch Pro, Switch Plus into would have... A camera on the top on the front and that camera would be looking the camera on the front and two cameras on the bottom of it and the two cameras on the bottom and the front are looking for they're looking for your hands they're looking for the bright lights on 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 the um on the controller on the look on the um plus controllers and they're looking for the little light that you put on the TV which um, it would be like a little, um, it'd just be something you kind of clip, it would come with it, so that way, if you're near something, you can clip it on something, like let's say, you can clip it on pretty much anything, you can play this virtual reality anywhere with the Nintendo Switch, think about that, um, but the funny thing about it is that, yeah, the, um, Switch Pro would, sorry, the Switch Plus would power the helmet, rather the little, the, um, head thing, and um, it would power the little camera that's in there, so it would have a slightly larger battery. And because of the way the system's designed, it would be slightly thicker than the current Nintendo Switch. But mm, most of that would be for like... I don't know why I'm speculating on this. This had nothing to do with what was announced today. I just decided to go rambling on that. Oh well, anyways, back to what was announced today. Uh, or, yeah, the Nintendo Direct... There was a Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase. Before that, there was a Sony PlayStation thing where they announced the PlayStation 5 price of $499 for um, US dollars for the PlayStation 5 and $399 for a PlayStation 5 Digital Edition. Don't buy the Digital Edition. If you're going with anything all digital, go for the Xbox Series X, the S, you know, because that one actually will... That one can do kind of a lot of the same little things the PS5 can do in some cases. I mean, it's not as powerful as the PS5, of course, but it can do 4K, well, checkerboard, which is about what the um, PlayStation 4 Pro was doing. Anywho, there was also that Nintendo thing, and here's what they announced, um, just to kind of get it over with. Okay, so, actually, this week... Oh, wait, where was it? Ah, Donkey Kong Country 2 is coming to Nintendo Switch Online on September 23rd. It's awesome. Along with Mario Super Supercross and the beat em up the Peacekeepers and Special Cybernetic Attack Team, which is a sci-fi shoot 'em up. And at their at the um at their little event today, and it's kind of the reason that you'll see all that uh Monster Hunter stuff happening in the background, <laughs> they announced um there, here it is. Hmm. Monster Hunter Rise, which is the latest entry in the action RPG series. It's neat. 
looks good. It's got some bonus DLC, whatever. Um, more stuff will be about it soon. Then there's Monster Hunter 2, start, sorry, Monster Hunter Stories 2, Wings of Ruin. Monster Hunter Stories is one of those that I really, really wish they'd, tri they'd port over to Nintendo Switch. And now that 2 is out and the 3DS is being discontinued, now's the perfect time to stealth announce that before Stories 2 comes out. That way people can be like, what? And it'll be awesome. Ori and the Will of the Wisps was announced. Fitness Boxing 2, Rhythm and Exercise was announced. I like that. I need to pick up the first one. Disgaea 6, Defiance of Destiny was announced. Um, and then there's going to be a special edition thing where from September 23rd to September 29th, if you're a Nintendo Switch Online player, um, you'll be able to play Disgaea 6, Defiance of Destiny. Then the game Hades came out. Empire of Sin was announced for December 1st. Sniper Elite 4 was announced for this holiday season. PGA Tour 20, 2K21 is getting a physical release on September 25th. The Long Dark out today, or rather on the 17th. And um, that is a action exploration survival game. It's on Game Pass, and I haven't played it yet. Balin Wonderland, or Balin Wonderland, is that weird spiritual knight successor from Square Enix and uh, Yuji Naka. That comes out March 26, 2021. Oh, by the way, um, Monster Hunter, the new one, uh, Monster Hunter Rise, comes out on March 26, 2021. So we have a date for it, too. And then they put out Rune Factory 5, which will be out in 2021. I need to pick up Rune Factory 4 Redux, because like the one on the version of it on the Nintendo Switch is pretty nice. And I also need to pick up the uh, Story of Seasons Redux. They're pretty good. Those are good games. I've just been tied up in uh, Animal Crossing and other stuff. So, um, there's those. That's what was announced. Um, sorry for rambling a bit about a, a about the Nintendo Nintendo's next system because they did have a little bit where they're talking about that and they're like, oh yeah, we got another system coming up, and I was just like, cool, uh, that would be good. And pretty much, um, that was kind of it. That was all. That's the news. Um, make sure you hit that like button, share button, subscribe button, and ring that little bell so you know if I whenever we have a brand new video here on Area DMG. And thank you for listening to me rant and rave about stuff, I guess. Yeah, thank you for sticking around. Um, you are awesome. Thank you. And, um, well, until the next video comes out, you are now caught up. Morning, Maya.